Yo, the more I made, the more I saved. I'm gonna go in and dive into these hundos real quick. Then we're gonna spill into the fifties, the tweezies, the tens, the fives, and the ones, right? But before we get it going, y'all know what it is. We're gonna dive into this money count real quick. And we gotta talk about this money count because we we jumping across a big milestone today. Or that's what we thinking right now, because this is supposed to be 300. This is all tip money, brand new, all right? We gonna see what this is actually looking like in comparison to what we was already holding on to, all right? That's 67.73, I went ahead and rounded it up to 67.75, we holding that right here. This is what we've been working on this last few months. We've been stacking up bread, we've been com coming in, we've been checking in ever so often. However, you know what I'm saying, many times y'all get on my channel or whatever, y'all know that every time y'all check in, it's a good feeling. Why? Because y'all checking in because y'all got more bread. I know y'all got more bread, you know what I'm saying? Now, for those that don't check in and for those that unsubscribe, you spent your money? You spent your money, didn't you? Yeah, you spent your bread, bro. You spent your bread. That's why you unsubscribe. You felt like, yo, let me um, let me go and find a different route. Somebody that, you, you know what it is. But yo, listen, for all those that still rocking with me right now, that still got the funds, we talking 67.73, right? This is what we was working with last time. Let's go ahead and count it up. Because we supposed to touch seven bands today. Seven bands, bro. You know how much weight that is? Seven bands. But let's look at these hundos real quick. Y'all know I transferred all that other money. We turned it into um, hundos, 20s, and all that. And we made it easier to count. So we don't got to sit here and count up funds time after time. Running through the ones and fives and all of that. We like to do that, but we like to do it on a note where we could get through it real quickly, right? So let's dive into this money count real quick. Let's get it. One, two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind. Let's get this money right. I'm going to do the flip fold on this one. So we're going to flip it like this. All right. So I used to get it. You know what I'm saying? Standing out like, yo, let me two for five, two for five. Let's get it. So I have my little joint like this, but check me out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Already a stack right there. Skirt. You looking at a band. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, let's get it. That's two bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Three bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four bands. Skirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five bands, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six bands. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold up, I think the money count is off because this is eight. Eight twenty, eight forty, eight sixty, eight seventy, eight seventy five. So what I did is I think I slipped the extra hundo in there. Which I'm gonna push off to the side. Because I'm only trying to work with what we initially saved from the jump, right? That's gonna be this right here, the sixty seven seventy five. So we're looking at it right here. Let me count that up one more time just so we straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so yeah, all the funds over here is looking right. All right. So we need to count up. We got the 67, 75 right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 75 right there. All right, so we got what we was working with before. I need y'all to look at this. 
need y'all to watch this the whole time. All right? Because we worked on this. You know what I mean? We got this right here. It's 67.75 right here. Let me see if it could um, it could stand on its own too. Uh, nah, it's not looking right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little rubber bands from right here and this tip money. I'm going to put this joint right there. We're going to count that up next. Let's take this. Let's stand it up. We got to watch this. It's a visual thing. It's a visual thing. You know what I mean? It's about you looking at it. We know we hit this right here. All right? 67.75 sitting right on the side right here. We need to get this joint up to seven bands, bro. So let's dive into this count and let's see if we ran it up to seven bands. Hey, let's get it. 20, 40, 60, 81. All right, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 80. Let's go. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know how long we've been working. And I told y'all, I said, we're going to come up on the seven bands and some, right? So this right here, this is seven bands, right? Hey, right there, seven bands. And this is the sum I was talking about. Seven bands and some, all right? I was grinding out there with them tips and all that. It's not all 20s. It's not all 10s and 5s. It's 1s. It's all that. Everything is inside, bro. But the point is, yo, I told y'all, if you grind it out, you got to put it in your mind, bro. Pass up them J's. I'm telling you, pass up them J's. What we going to dive into in a second which, you know, we got to do our little chit chat and all that. So I'm going to dive into the little, what is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about what's the importance of chasing the dollar or one dollar just like it, as if it was a thousand dollars. I want to dive into that because that's real deep for a lot of people. And a lot of people don't understand the grind and the hustle. And they might take a dollar as not being the same worth and the same value as a thousand dollars. But all of the real heads know, all of the ones that really understand, they know and understand that one dollar is exactly the same as a thou. You just gotta make sure you see it and identify it the same way. But we'll dive into details in a second. Let's finish up this count so we can go on and dive in and finish out the total count on what we're working with. And then we're gonna see what we need to go in and get up them eight bands, because that's the next video. Y'all know what it is. Let's finish this out. All right, so we're already working with the um that's 300 on top of the 67.75. So that's um, 67, 68, 69. All right, so that's 70, 75 right here. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 71, 75. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 72. 75, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, that'll make it 73, if y'all counting with me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, that's 74, all right, that's 100, that's 74. 74, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 74, 34, without that extra hundo, all right, this extra hundo must have slipped in somehow, some way. Um, I usually got money just kind of lingering all over the place and somehow some way it spilled in to this this count but i gave y'all the count initially y'all know what this is it's the 67.75 we went ahead and added the extra um remaining numbers which was the tip money and now that ran all the way up to 60 no I'm, my bad 74.75 right and then if we go ahead and we add my bad it ran up to 75 right and then I think if you add the hundo, it'll make it 76. Let me double check. Man, damn, bro. Sometimes when you got a lot of money, it's a good thing when you lose count, right? All right, so listen. 
Let's run back through this real fast because we had to count money, right? It's all motivation. It don't matter if we miscount. We just count it over, right? Because it's good to count money. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, all right? Y'all thought I had that speed thing on. That's how fast I'm out here counting. That's 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. All right, so that's, that's going to be the 67, 75. That's 70, 75. 71, 75. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Boom. Let's just make it 72. All right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's boom. 73. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Hundo. Mm, 74. And this joint right here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, so 74, 34. And then you add this right here, that'll be 7534. So y'all know what it is. 7534 is the brand new count on what we're working with. All right, 7534. 7534. Keep that number in mind and know that the only direction you're going from here is straight up. All right. We're gonna hit them eight bands. It ain't nothing. I got two days off and I'm gonna be back on the grind just in a couple. So y'all give me a second. I'm gonna run up the numbers, give me a couple days, and I'm gonna go ahead and get what's needed, and we're gonna sit down at the same drawing board, we sit same round table, bro, and we're gonna talk about how we're gonna get to nine bands, bro. That's what we're gonna talk about. All right. So now let's 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 talk about this one dollar and this thousand dollars, right? Because there's a lot of people that talk about like, yo, listen, let me talk about how this plays out, right? You get your man, right? Your man comes through. He see you got bread, you know what I'm saying? You walk around, you got your shmoney and all that. You got your little things, you throwing it around. You you know, you doing your thing, whoop de whoop And then your man comes through and he's like, yo, I see you got money and all, bro. Let me borrow like five, bro. Let me, you know what I'm saying? I see you 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 running up the numbers, ain't no thing. Let me just get like five. Let me get five dollars, bro. Come on. I just need a little something for the kids and you know what I'm saying? All that type of thing. You know the stories that they like to give, right? But let me tell you how this goes. So you let your man hold the, hold down the five, right? Yo, yeah, bro, I let you hold down the five. Whoop de whoop. Ain't no, ain't no thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, ain't nothing to me. But when I when I throw that out, bro, you gotta give it back. You gotta give it back, bro. So so many people on so many occasions like to identify your financial status as to what you could lend out. And may not even get back, right? They looking at you like, yo, you 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 sitting real big right now. You know what I'm saying? If I was to hold down five dollars, is it really gonna hurt you if I don't pay you back? Listen, this is how you do it, bro. When you dealing with the community, bro, everybody don't run and operate on a money level. All right, everybody don't run and operate as if they trying to get to that next level, like they trying to get it. They run and operate as if they're trying to just make it to the next check, right? They're just trying to get that smoke. They're trying to get that tree. They're trying to get that, you know what I'm saying, a little drink. They're trying to get a little something for the kids, whoop de whoop But they just trying, they're not trying to be rich in the end result. Don't let them types of people tamper with your goals and what you have going on, all right? Because what they're going to do is they're going to come up to you and they're going to ask for a dollar today, five tomorrow, maybe a dollar the next time around, Five the next time around. And at what point in time are you going to actually get up and be like, yo, I'm going to need that back after a dollar is lent out or after it racks all the way up to like 20. So my advice to you is either don't lend the money out at all or you hunt them down after one dollar just as if it was a thousand dollars, bro. How do you think them bill companies run? Bill collectors, bro. You think they say, nah, that's just a dollar. That's just five. That's just 20. We sitting on billions. They only owe me like 20. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to really stress it like that. Nah, bro. They coming after you. They taking you to court. They taking you this, that, and the third. They handle it in whatever extreme or measure that they can in order to get that bread back. Listen, when you have that person that you lend a dollar to, you don't think nothing of it, and you don't chase them down to get it back, when does that stop? 
because they're going to ask for a dollar today, a dollar tomorrow, and a dollar the next day. It's like, where's the cutoff point, bro? You got to have that cutoff. You know what I'm saying? You either throw interest on that joint, like, yo, I throw you a dollar, but you got to get me five dollars in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? But that's where it's at. You see how the bill collectors move and where do they stand? Financially successful. They running a company. Everything's running. They're booming. They're not doing it emotionally. I don't get caught up in the emotions where you sit back talking about, yo, this is my man. You know what I'm saying? That is him and the kids. I mean, I'm not saying don't lend the money. Lend the money where the money's needed. Always put the money out because the money will always come back. It's meant to circulate. All right. What will end up happening is you got to be careful of somebody that you put your money in the hands of. And that same person mishandles the money. All right. Just like somebody holding down a credit card. It's the same thing. I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody's coming up to you and they borrowing, something's already wrong there. All right. There's a little bit of a hole in the system. And if you could patch up that hole and start to make sense of why that person is even borrowing, that'll bring you to the next step as if you should actually go ahead and lend. So if you were to take that initial step, you say, yo, whoop de whoop, ain't no thing, it's my man from around the block. I'm gonna go ahead and let him hold down the five, right? I'll just advise you, chase that man down, chase him after that five, the same way you would chase 5,000. I'm telling you right now, because the same way how you identify the five and the 5,000, the, the man that actually borrowed the money was gonna see it the same way. Like, damn, this man's really chasing me down for this five dollars. Y'all know how it is when you're in them situations and you like, yo, I'm in a situation where like I went ahead and I borrowed some money from this man and I'm ducking and I'm dodging him because I don't really think it's that much. And he's coming after me like it is, bro. That's because that's a man about his money. Anytime you see somebody coming after you, whether it be a dollar, five dollars, they coming after you the same way. Five, five thousand, fifty thousand, whatever it is, they come after you the same way. That's a go getter. That's somebody that's always grinding. That's somebody that's always going to get their bread because nobody's ever going to knock you for being petty and talking about, yo, this man's sitting on 10 mil, but he's he's actually coming after me after a dollar or two. Everybody starts looking at you funny because why can't you pay him back the dollar or two, right? Don't look at the man with the big bread that's asking for his money back. Look at the man that can't pay back. That actually has the initial problem. The man trying to get his money back don't got no problems. He just want the money back, bro. You know what I'm saying? But the man borrowing got a lot of stuff going on. So that's the direction you need to look in. Keep in mind, bro. You lend out a dollar. Look at it like a thousand. Chase that man down like it's a thousand. Think about them bill collectors, them bill companies. All of them chase you down like you holding down a mill. They chase you down like if you don't pay them back, the company going to shut down. You know what I'm saying? So I advise you to get out there, whoop de whoop, whoever owes you that bread, bro, do not hold back. Like, damn, let me, I'm not even gonna hit him up because he only owe me a dollar. Look, bro, when is it gonna stop? All right, a dollar here, a dollar there, a dollar there, a dollar. Before you know it, you broke, bro. You handing out a bunch of dollars, not minding how, how, how you gonna get it back. You gonna go broke, bro, in a minute. Because you handing out a dollar to every man on the block. Everybody know you good for that dollar. You go, you going to lend it out and you're not going to really ask for it back. Or you're not going to be on top of your game when it's time to get it back. So somebody will take advantage of that. All right? If it's not one man, it'll be several. And at the end of the day, you'll break off with zero dollars. So what you do is you chase that dollar like you never chased it before. Just as if it was a thousand. And when somebody look around and be like, yo, you know somebody I could borrow money from? They'd be like, yeah, you could borrow money from him. But even if you borrow a dollar, bro, this man's going to hunt you down like if it was a mill. Yeah, then the man probably going to think, damn, well, maybe I don't want to borrow the dollar from him. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody coming after me like that. Knocking at my door talking about, yo, all I need is my dollar back. Yeah, that's me, bro. That's me. Don't don't come around talking about you need to borrow money if you can't pay back. Regardless of the amount, you chase it as if it was a mill. Hey, let's get it. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Y'all know what it is. Y'all see what the numbers that are that we sitting on. 7534. It's looking fantastic, bro. So in a minute, I'm going to get back to y'all with my 8K video. Y'all know what it is. And I'm going to definitely get into the envelope stuffing because I just got paid on Friday. So I need to go ahead and sit down, budget, divvy up the funds. And I'm going to do all of that on camera just so y'all can get a little spill on what's going on. Y'all keep rocking with your boy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know what it is. Hey, let's get it.